Welcome everybody to KPE Paranormal. Tonight, we are back at this abandoned house. We are going to take a look if anything changed at this house. Then, once we get done going through that, we are going to be doing a paranormal investigation here. The energy that we felt pulling up to here was really heavy, really strong, and it felt like there were lost spirits here, stuck spirits, and they are just afraid to communicate. And we're going to help them communicate tonight to get answers. And if you all hear anything, see anything in the video, please let us know down in the comment section below with a time step. Make sure to smash the like button, share this video out, and let's get started. Y'all coming with. Y'all remember this photo of Jesus? We're back at this house. Well, that's back trapped. Let me go to work. Help. 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 I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Back, back. Just need to raise it up. Thank you. Great. Yep. I did a check in here last time. The spider is gone. It's probably outside. Or somewhere in the house. Yeah. Where'd you go? You can see some of the uh, bush trying to crawl through in here from the plowboard. Got old magazines here. Leave. 
This is so radio, no stereo cassette. Very cool. Yeah, free great channel from the video, the first video here, there was a spider there, and now it's gone. Yeah, this floor over here is the only floor that's not safe. I mean, I can try to walk on it from here, but it don't seem like it's safe over here to go through the way. Water basically caused the damage here. Backing up. Whoa. What was that? I just fell from above us. It did, did it? Yeah. And there, nobody's right there. I caught it on camera moving. Yeah, I've seen it right about the tip of the rail. Did you say go? No. All right, go. Hold on. Yo, I just heard a hiss over here and a growl. You did? Yep. Who's down here with us? Did one of y'all throw a uh, newspaper onto the first floor? No. Yeah, Spirit literally tossed the newspaper and it went to the first floor. No, it's in there. I'm trying to open the closet and stop. Hold on, stop. Yeah, you get that. Yeah, so something got stuck on my yeah. foot. See y'all. That got stuck on my foot. You yeah, be careful of talking about foot stuck on a nail in here. Guess what? My foot got stuck on a nail. Uh, yeah, I gotta be careful with nails. There's stuff on the front door. Yeah, yeah there is. October 18th. No, sorry, 19th, 2008. Very cool, very cool. Trying to maneuver through here. There we go. Okay, so we're scouting out the house. Don't step on the nails. Yeah, watch out for the nails. You don't step on one. Alright, y'all, so. <coughs> We're scouting out the house to make sure everything's good to start the investigation. 
on the first floor we had a newspaper that fell from the second floor onto the first floor. I got part of it on camera as you see in the video. Um, they're checking the place out as well to see what the house looks like from the inside as it's their first time here and our second time here. We're going to continue on the sixth floor and then here very shortly we are going to start the investigation. But as you see y'all, this is a gorgeous home. I also would like to point out, we also heard voices. Um, Got to place you all back on this mantle to explain what I heard after that newspaper fell. Okay, so right after that newspaper fell, I heard a male's voice saying, Go. I don't like that. I kind of like drew it out. Like, go. Like a long go. Right after the male spirit tossed the newspaper onto the first floor. So that was really cool. Creepy. But cool at the same time. Let me know if y'all heard that as well. I have to show you all the uh, attic part, I think is what it's called. I showed you all in the first video, but not the second one, which is this one. Um, Cause I didn't look in as much as the first one, as this is the first time here. Last time, you know, so the second time, I'm gonna definitely look into more of it. See what's left, you know. What's that over there? It looks like syrup. I'll tell it fall through the floor, but you see there's like a whole bunch of magazines, energy drinks right there. I'm zooming on that for you. Right there. Juiced energy. Some green beans. I'm trying to make sure I don't fall through the floor. Um, that looks like something. Let me know what you all think that is. At first, I thought it could have been syrup, but it's not. But look at that Aldi's advertising. Dollar nineteen, nine out six. So, from the looks of it, place may have been abandoned since two thousand eight. You know, we got some trays like for banquet meals, TV dinners. You know. Very interesting history in this house. Cool stuff, you know. I'm gonna show you all this here as well. Amazing sale of parents. Very cool. Okay. So we're going to start the investigation on the first floor and then move our way up to the second floor. We may have all the lights off while we do the investigation and just have the night vision on. The history that I found of this house is that when I did some more research I found out about this house was built back in the 1900s, around that time. I don't know what year exact that it was built, but it was around the 1900s. And it does have that 1900, late 1890s look, you know, the architecture of the way it's built. Um, it's definitely a gorgeous home. It is haunted. And we're gonna get ready to start the investigation, but I just want to inform you all that this house may have built 
may have been built in the 1900s and or late 1890s. That's when this house was built. Was that you? My hand been still over. That was not you? No. Did you hear that bang? Yeah, I heard a bang. That was right on this, but my hand didn't even move. I had my touch now. See? I just moved my hand. But it seems like they got like a fireplace in each and every room, even in the kitchen. But if y'all heard that bang, let us know down in the comment section below. Is there water? No, no water. Yeah. Watch out for the spiders. What's up? That door. Black mist just went like this. Are you here with us? Can you bang on something for us? Did you hear that? Was that y'all? Did y'all make a banging noise? No. No? Not banging. I just heard something say Joey. It was like, Joey. Place down our clear balls. They are called cat balls. If you use the energy to touch those cat balls, it'll light up. It's a communication tool as well. If you can, if any spurs are up here on the second floor, walk down here and touch the cat balls. Please and thank you. And also, if there's any male or female spirits, there's a machete that you can grab and you can play with, chop some wood up. If there's any child spirits, any kids, you can use those cat balls as a toy too. You can roll it down the stairs and we can play. That was you that we just heard make that noise, the audible noise. Can you move one of them cat balls? Can you touch it for us, please?
I see movement on a second floor. It was fast. Alright, there's one coming down. Don't be scared. I see your hand on a handrail. It's okay. No need to play hide and seek. We're not scared. You cannot scare us. Keep walking down here, please. Come out of that closet up there. It could have been a moth that flew past the camera. Are you affecting my chest? You're not allowed to harm anybody. Unless you're letting me know that's how you died. If that's how you died, light up the cap ball for us, please. You can do it. Focus your energy. Manifest your energy. Touch the ball. Please and thank you. What do you disagree with? You disagree the truth? Do you want us to go up on a second floor? Is that why you're not coming down here? I'm going to knock 
And I would like for you to repeat it, please. It's very faint. Yeah. Came from upstairs. 100. I got bad chest pain. <clears throat> Are you trying to uh, provoke me? Because I heard you say my name on a video. I'm here. I'm going to keep this as friendly as I can for purposes. So, to the other spirits that are lost, that are stuck. No light. I have respect for you. So this has nothing to do with you, okay? To the cowards that are hiding in the shadows. That calls on people's names and affects people. I know there's a couple lost souls here, but I also know there's a couple coward entities here. The people who lived here had a prayer room. They had a closet with a lock with crosses carved into it. So obviously there's something negative here. So I want that negative entity to come out to walk down these stairs to light up them cat balls and I'm giving you something on Hide. I'm not hiding when it's not hide and seek you don't need to hide there's an object right there on the stairs that you can pick up and use it against me I'm giving you free range a dozen well use, use your a dozen of energy and light up the cat balls for us. Here you running around above us. Are you running around because you know I can't walk up there? No spirit. No spirit. Did you leave? <laughs> Unless something's telling the, the other spirits, telling them no. Like not to touch the pack balls? Yeah, like they're trying to communicate and it's like no spirit. We'll do it anyway. You don't have power or dominion over the souls that are in this home. They're their own soul. They have their own belief. If they would like to touch a cat ball to light it up, they can. And don't be scared, spirits. It won't hurt you. You know, since we got here... Review. I'm sitting here reviewing it. Since we got here, I couldn't step up on the step. I fell forward. Almost cut my finger off. Injured my knee. And then something gave me chest pain. Said my name. Huh. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go in right here and see if it says anything or does anything.
doing? Is it too late to have coffee? No, not for me. Is it too late to have a cigarette and a little sweater? Something bad is going to happen. 1940s. Bro, I got chills bad. Smoking, do you hear smoking with me? Did you hear that? It's gone, yeah. It went away. Airman. It went away in the noise out there. Voice. Airman. Airman. Why is there three screens?
You are doing research on some of the words, right? Yeah. Most likely. It said Follow. most. It said most likely. Follow. They said consistent morals. Alright, we're walking our way up to the second floor now. We've done the first floor. Talking, drinking water. Huh. That's what the cardboard says. Right there. Interesting. Sweet. What was that? Oh, okay. Ooh, almost fell. Hey Jackson. I got a nail on my foot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's stuck on my foot. Help. Thank you. Balls right there. Another one's right there. Okay. Spirits that are up here or downstairs. Can you please touch one of these cat balls for the camcorder? More than likely, what I might possibly have to do is. Uh, the confirmation that we got from the spirit that triggered the cat ball by lighting it up is to take it from the live stream and place it into the regular video. What was that? What was that? Can you step away from it? Hey Adrian. Look at that cat ball, it's like just steady going. That's not okay, there we go. That's not supposed to stay that long like that. Look at that, just did it again, look at that. I'm not even nowhere near it. Thank you. Can you touch it one more time, please, for confirmation? Thank you, appreciate it. You're doing awesome. As you just witnessed, that was confirmation from the spirit that haunts this home that triggered that cat ball again. Did y'all hear that? What was that? What was that? This room. Where did it come from? This way heel. So it was flown from a heel to a tail. Huh. But the responses that we got for the necrometer was amazing though. It really is. Okay. Definitely gonna be a long video. 
lots of voices that we heard. This will wrap up this investigation here at this abandoned house. We definitely caught a lot of paranormal evidence. Had a cat box to go off on the live stream. Odd confirmation as well. We saw a newspaper flew from the second floor onto the first floor. We also heard what sounded like a brick got tossed in the room. That was during the, like, the very last part of the video. Definitely heard lots of footsteps, voices, all kinds of cool stuff. Let me know what you all think about this video. Make sure to smash the like button, share this video out. Comment what you all think about this video down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, KP Paranormal. Love and peace.